Women's Health Goulburn North East are here to talk about the socio-ecological model. The ecological systems concept was developed by psychologist Yuri Bronfenbrenner in the 1970s as a conceptual model for understanding child development as a complex system of relationships. It was formalised as the ecological systems theory in the 1980s. Today, we know it as the socio-ecological model. The socio-ecological model was created to show the interrelating components between personal factors such as knowledge, attitudes and beliefs and environmental factors such as where you live, air quality and access to food and clean water. The model has been continually revised and adapted to support work in a wide range of fields including health promotion and gender equality. Given the wide range of fields the socio-ecological model relates to, including medical, mental health, health promotion, gender equality and many more, it is no surprise that the models used are different depending on what it is used for. The model we use at Women's Health Goulburn North East has four levels. Individual and relationship, organisational and community, system and institutional, and societal. The theory of this model is that behaviours both shape and are shaped by the social environment. These are what we know as the norms, structures and practices that reinforce gender equity. Social norms exist within each complex level of the model, from the individual level through to the societal level, each impacting and being impacted on by the others. Now that you've seen the model, we'll take a look at what each level means in a little more detail. At the individual and relationship level are the biological and personal history factors such as adhering to rigid gender roles and identities. An example of this might be, my grandmother and mother stayed at home to cook three meals a day, so I must do the same. At the organisational and community level are the rules in settings such as schools, workplaces and neighbourhoods. An example of this might be, Girls are required to wear skirts at the local high school as part of their uniform. At the system and institutional level are the legislations and policies in place that address or do not address a gender imbalance. An example of this might be the workplace having action plans on gender equality per the requirements of the Gender Equality Act. At the societal level, we see the broader messages about the dominant social norms that we might receive through printed media, social media or on television. An example of this might be, women are caregivers and belong at home with the children. That's it for today's quick video on the socio-ecological model.